So NAC has basically seven major parameters on which the assessment happens. The first is curricular aspect. Second is teaching learning process, research and innovation, student progression, infrastructure, best practices. Each and every criteria has different sub parameters. So if I talk about the very first criteria, which is curricular aspect, every syllabus that is offered at university is put under the lens to see whether it has revision at regular interval, whether the feedback of student and industry taken at a regular interval, whether each of that syllabus has a component of skill and entrepreneurship in it. Also the value added courses, how many value added courses which are not part of curriculum was offered in last five years. Every achievement is converted into few points and that is calculated at the end of the assessment cycle and then converted to a grade. So when A plus grade is awarded to any university or an institute, it proves that the curriculum that is offered at that university is up to mark. There is hardly any gap between industry and academia. Your syllabus gives a relevant knowledge or up to the mark content when students come to that university. When A plus comes to any university, their performance of student has achieved a remarkable benchmark. They are getting consistent placement in last five years. They are getting consistent opportunities in last five years. When A plus grade comes to a university that shows that every faculty member of that university has seed grant to try and experiment new things. Every faculty member is working towards filing patent. Every faculty member has good publication and citation index as well. When that university which is having A plus grade, the library is completely automated. The examination system is completely automated. There are hardly any student grievances in terms of assessment or any other thing. The university makes sure that student gets enough amount of scholarships through all government grants as well as from the university funding as well. When A plus comes, the university has adequate infrastructure. Classrooms and labs are using full potential of ICT technology. All subscription towards journals, magazines are happening in the library. That university has made sure that all the green initiatives are taken care. At Marwadi University, the campus is green five-star rated by SHM. Every rainwater that comes to university is properly harvested through rainwater harvesting system. It has solar panels. It has all the energy conservation system in place. It has uniqueness as well. So the uniqueness of Marwadi University, which is having the highest point in NAC assessment, is our internationalization. University has more than 15% international student on campus coming from 52 countries. So when we talk about that diversity, it involves a lot of student support and progression system in place as well. So university has dedicated international relationship office. We celebrate national days of every country. We understand the culture we have harmony among all students so when all that element combines that gives us a full potential and full marks for internationalization at the university national assessment and accreditation council is an autonomous body established by government of india it comes under the purview of ugc controlling body of universities in india it's an agency which gives a rating to different universities and colleges. So there is a difference between ranking and rating. Ranking is when you get rank one, two, three, four like that, where no two institute can come on the same rank. While rating is given so that different universities having comparable outcome or comparable achievements can be rated at one or the other point. So NAC is a body which gives accreditation to different university in the range of different grades. It starts with B grade, B plus and thereon. So National Assessment and Accreditation Council is a huge comprehensive manual of 3000 points where any university, when they do one thing, they get one point. So imagine 3000 different points to earn every point 
you have to do something or the other at one or the other good level. I'll give you an example. If any university gives seed grant to their faculty members to do research in the amount of 25 lakh rupees per year, that counts for two points. So out of 3000 points, you earn two points when that happened over a consistent five years. So National Assessment and Accreditation Council gives accreditation for the last five year performance data. One more thing that I have to mention, it's not mandatory. Universities or colleges who wants to make sure that we want to get a recognition from government that we are providing quality education, we are providing outcome-based education, only those serious institutes and universities goes for accreditation. So Marwad University have received an A plus accreditation in NAC, which is not a surprise at all, because in 2016, Marwadi group of colleges became the first institute in entire Gujarat to get A plus accreditation, which was a unique thing. So since 2016, Marwadi group of colleges were following all the quality parameters set up by NAC. In 2023, Marwadi University became eligible when their first batch graduated. And that's when all the data were compiled and submitted to NAC. It was a comprehensive four month exercise where NAC verified each and every data submitted by Marwadi University. They did it through their DVV process, which is digital verification system. And then a six member peer team came to university, spent three full days and again reviewed and assessed each and every parameter. So what is NAC? So basically there are seven parameters which government or academic institute, they feel that they are the main reasons for which one needs to perform. So basic criteria like academic performance, whether your syllabus, do they have a component for skill, for entrepreneurship, or do they have a component where anyone is aligned towards ethics? So basically seven parameters starts with teaching learning process, research and innovation, governance systems, best value and practices, and many more. Very small details like whether the syllabus is it being revised, every year, whether it is aligned with industry requirement, whether it has a component of skill and entrepreneurship in it, all those things are being taken care and very detailed uh, verification of that has happened. Second thing, whether the university is providing grant to their students, their faculty members to do research, that is also counted. So every parameter, if you look at it, gives you a complete picture of that outcome-based education. It verifies that this university has more than 70% placement, more than 30% of the students, they complete their graduation and go for higher studies. They are aligned with national goals or United Nations uh, goals, where NCC is part of it, NSS is part of it. So then you go through a NAC process, it proves that university is aligned with all the seven parameters which are very important for any university to grow. So one would be always wondering that where Marwadi University scored the most in NAC accreditation. The easy answer could be infrastructure, automation and processes. Yes, Marwadi University has amazing infrastructure. If you step inside the library of Marwadi University, you will realize it's only one of its kind in entire country. It's a completely RFID system enabled library where any student can do self check in, self check out of books and everything. But Marwadi University received highest points in two major parameters. First is curricular aspect and second teaching, learning and evolution. Teaching, learning and evolution is the most important part for any undergrad program. It talks about and assess university, whether university is providing experiential learning, project-based learning, and whether the outcome is achieved or not. Whether every subject of university has defined course outcome or not. Whether the program outcome and course outcome are getting a, an evaluated and having an attainment level or not. So teaching, learning, and evolution is where university scored highest points. That proves that student is very well supported 
located inside the university for all its education needs. So if any student comes and asks why NAC is important for me, what is in it for me? The simple answer is only NAC certification or NAC accreditation can prove that university has everything what any student needs for their successful career. University has best curriculum, university has best support system, university has best research, placement records, all that what is required and that is very well documented, proven and certified by government of India. So when any certificate, when we go to any agency and when we see that you have a certificate which proves on paper that the system processes work at this university, NAC for faculty members and researchers, very important because NAC ask whether the faculty member is given a seed grant for research, whether university is receiving national or international grants, grants from government or private agencies to support research, whether university has established processes to incentivize research, policies to make sure that every faculty member is given industry association membership, it also certifies that faculty members are given proper remuneration, all the benefits that is necessary for any faculty member or researcher to thrive and perform well. So those are the parameters which are very essential for any faculty member or researcher to make their career in university. So if university is accredited by NAC with a good grade, that shows that you have a very good career at that university.